I made a video today but I talked too much and to be honest when it came to editing it I was boring myself so I've decided to do this talky bit again although you can see me talking from the first talky bit. We're going to ignore that though aren't we? Let's move on. The rockery is what I've been focusing on today. I had a look at the track work and it all looks pretty good. The track on the bridge is good too, although the coffee stirrer decking is popping off. I'll fix that in the summer, use something better. After quickly clearing the junk out of the middle, I started working on putting rocks into the rockery. That's what rockeries need after all. I started working around the edge and realised that most of the rocks I have are far too big to go in the edge. So I started breaking them up with a bolster and then realised I needed to do it a bit more precisely. So I broke out the tungsten carbide bladed hacksaw, which works pretty well for cutting, but it takes a long time. So I usually combine it with the bolster, cut a bit, hit it with the bolster. Usually it gives me roughly the result I want. Based on my experience at Tree Corner where the soil got on the track, I've decided that I don't want soil anywhere near the track. So the rocks are laid on a base of gravel and other rocks and soft sand, and then I've surrounded them with alpine grit, which I think suits the railway fairly well. I'm hoping the large rock at the end will give me some scope for building a tunnel there. Although, I'm not too worried if I don't get a tunnel because the train is still going to disappear behind some rocks. And in some ways it makes maintenance easier if there isn't one. So here's how it looks so far, I hope you like it, and I'll be back next Saturday with another edition of me throwing rocks around in my garden. Yabba dabba do.